This is one of our Kadak J-Series modular consoles. The J-Series is the most versatile analog console we've ever come across. It allows any of the modules to be placed into any module slot in the frame, so you can choose how many of the input or group modules you need for your project. There are three types of input channel, mono, dual mono and stereo. The basic mono input module provides routing to the 16 buses and 12 aux buses, plus a direct output switchable pre or post fader and a superb three band parametric equalizer. Like most consoles, the EQ can be switched in and out of circuit, but the Kadak J-Series is not like any other console, because you can also switch each EQ band in and out of circuit individually. The dual mono input module is like a two into one mixer. It has two individual XLR balanced discrete inputs. Each input has its own level control, minus 20 dB pad, 48 volt phantom power, phase reverse, and programmable on and off switch allowing it to use one input as a sound source and the other as a door return. Designing the channel to have access to two inputs is a work of genius and allows the console to be used in a conventional manner or as an inline. A typical inline setup would involve all sound source signals to be connected to input A while all playback line outputs return to input B. The central control module or CCM can be used to globally switch the two inputs. It can also be switched manually, of course. The dual mono channel is equipped with a four band parametric equalizer with variable frequency high and low pass filters. Like the input, the EQ on and off plus filters on and off are also individually programmable and can also be controlled by the CCM. Finally, the channel output is via a motorized Penyon Giles 100mm conductive plastic fader and snapshots of the fader positions can easily be stored into memory and recalled again using the CCM. The third option is the stereo input module. Very similar to the dual mono input module with four band parametric EQ and variable filters. But the signal stays in the stereo mode throughout and leaves the module via a stereo PNG fader. Stereo modules are in short supply. However, two dual mono modules can be used in place of two stereo modules. Two door channels routing to two stems via a pan will provide a stereo output. You can do this twice with two dual mono modules, providing two stereo outputs from the two modules. Each group module also houses a stereo matrix output. So a desk fitted with eight groups will have 16 matrix outputs. These outputs can provide feeds to control room and studio monitors and can also be used to easily set up various foldback mixes. There are three options on how to get the signal to the recorder. One, via the channel direct output. Two, from a group. Three, from a channel inserts in. For monitoring while recording or playback, the channels can be routed to a pair of groups that are being used as the mix bus. And the mix signal is sent to the monitors via the console's matrix. The group matrix modules also have inject sockets allowing additional audio signals to be combined with the group or matrix signal path. These inject points have on and off switches plus level controls. You can choose to install two or more group modules up to a maximum of 16. Further features include optional VCA master faders, allowing level and mute control over any number of channel faders without combining the audio outputs of the selected faders. The J-Series was designed for theatre use, but works very well in a recording situation. After buying a J-Series, Superfly Studios in the UK sold all their outboard mic preamps because they thought the J-Series pre's were better. We currently have six frame sizes available, ranging from 25 to 54 modules, and they can be supplied fully loaded or partially loaded to be expanded at a later date. For more detailed information and price options, please contact Don Larking by email to donlarkingslist.com.